your fucking button. Lights out. Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking mine. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. <sighs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed! Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations down, schnitzel, bad dog. Uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock. I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in a corresponding direction. Honey, what's for dinner? Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. 
We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. This is crazy. We put a lot of effort into these new plant species. This will be my way of saying goodbye to them. I won't hold it against you if you refuse, but... They'll probably cremate you. There are way too many dead bodies around here. Cremate me? I never thought of that. What a waste. I could have brought new life into the world. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Try to stay alive. This can't be happening. It's like a bad trip. Log number two, April 19th. Pesticide level saying, decreased. Now at 10 percent. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Under a microscope. Fish that all. I've noticed that the slime mold genes have become dominant. And those psychosis have been cut. Shot. Shoot. Well, it explains how the plant feeds itself. By grabbing food with its stems, for example. Just a sec. What? What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog! Anyway. Uh, later. <laughs> This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed.
Pesticide level decreased. Now at 8%. Damn it. Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. He won't find us here. We should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. The only light that went out was yours, buddy. For good. So I'm dead? <laughs> I have to admit, the thought pad crossed my mind. You weren't wrong. See ya. Hey, Charles, if I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's Pesticide only one way decreased. to find out. Now uh, at 6%. I think I'll... We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying! Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? the container i'm out of pa 400 if we don't figure out something soon we're toast take it easy pal i found it look down there there's your container you got any idea what it took to get it here shit not like that that won't kill it you were supposed to blow it up damn it what do we do now it's awake we gotta ignite the polymer give me your cigarette you can ignite polymer with a cigarette this one yeah die you prick Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in rage! We gotta run before it. Hang on! God damn it! Ah, oh, fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to Have us, you we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No! Fuck. No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, shit. 
fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got Please no- Please select the desired procedure.
Charles. They didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. Trees thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Pesticide polymer canister connected. The PEC 4 birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something, like... A dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Fading data. Authorization. Major Nichayev.
Chelas. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. There are cameras everywhere. Where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub, known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm, and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated, and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terrish Cobras, as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terrish Cobras. Uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing.
by the enemy. More robots will arrive shortly. Where do they keep coming from? A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. Can I get a nine o'clock appointment, Nina? I'm going to take a day off. got one of those amazing poly hairstyles for her wedding. Could you do that for me too? Pretty please? You know, the kind where it's one style in the morning and then it's different in the evening. And the color changes and everything. Everybody's gonna be there for the collective update. All our bosses and maybe even some foreigners. I don't wanna look all frumpy. Oh, and grab me some poly nail polish too, okay? I want my nails to change with my mood. Polymers sure are amazing for beauty stuff, huh?
will this device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Zena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? <laughs> they broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. Sunny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Setchenov, sir. I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of... Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? 
Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision, and I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the BDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. You're a sharp old bird, Granny Zena. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. Let's just say you're lucky I felt like looking after you. Why did you? What's special about me? I wanted to see if you're a real man or a pussy. Harsh. That's what it takes to get through a thick skull. How did you survive anyway? I didn't. I'm dead. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I ought to grab my ladle and smack you on the head. I'm trained to survive, so that's what I did. I would love to take you to the How are you tracking such enough? Same way I track everybody else. Technology, Sonny. Let's just say I've got a fancy hut, you've got a fancy glove, and we don't ask each other where they came from. Deal? Fair enough. That's a weird pet you got there. What's so weird about her? I make some pretty special tea, I'll give you that. But this is just a plain old chicken. What? That's a joke. This is facility 3826. It's like the Emerald City. Haven't you ever seen a chip chicken before? Can't say I have. Actually, I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, go ahead and take a look. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little thought. Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was kind of busy. Well, off you go then. Enjoy the VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Yeah. Wait. That's what I You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? Little Bird told me. Tell the Kraut things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Access granted.
Please select the desired procedure. Please select the desired procedure. Charles, who is this Granny Xena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Okay, let's open the gate. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system.
survivor. I didn't think I would see someone. Listen, you should get out of here. I'd love to, but who's gonna clean this mess up if I do? Nah, I've still got work to do here. Yeah, this is exactly what we were thinking waiting for the train. Very well. I hope you'll have better luck. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. Don't jinx it, Glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. Got it. Bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. The robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. It's a terrible shame. just can't. I can't leave this place, literally. Yeah, you're going nowhere in this condition. Literally. This place is cursed. The station. The entire maglev system. Starting with the ticket. I see. I excuse me. I need to board the train. Thank you. 
no tickets! The window is closed! Jeez, keep it down, will ya? This seems to be an instance of residual polymer memory. It's logical to assume that it contains the victim's most vivid life experiences. Uh, I'm not so sure. It could be his last memory. A Soviet citizen could never be that obsessed with his job. What about the Communist Youth League? What about pioneers? Going to camp, stuff like that. His hopes and dreams, literature, history. Do you have a lot of cherished memories? <sighs> Whatever. You're just a computer program anyway. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed train and the crown jewel of Facility 3826 transportation system. I need to get to the VDNH right away. It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is zero percent. You may depart immediately. Are you sure you haven't washed your marbles like those other robots? You're not gonna crash the train and kill us, are you? Passenger safety is the foremost concern of any robotic vehicle. Our algorithms? I've seen what your algorithms can do. Charles, is there a neuropolymer capsule with a train manual on it in this station? You can drive the Vortex yourself if you find one. Unfortunately, this station isn't a transit hub. There won't be a manual capsule here. Oh, fuck. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. I do not detect any signs of pregnancy. Show me a note from the gynecologist. I'll show you signs of pregnancy, you piece of shit. If you have a mental disability, please present your disability certificate. That's it. You're fucked. Comrade Major, note that this particular Rafik is not an autonomous system. He is the high-speed train vortex. Destroying him will permanently disable the train. All right. Listen here, you lousy hunk of junk. Where do I get your fucking ticket? You may purchase it at the nearest ticket window. There are special discounts available for passengers traveling with children. Uh, what ticket window, you dumb shit? They're closed. Everyone's dead. Nobody's selling tickets. According to Soviet law, free travel is available only to pregnant women and people with disabilities. Cram it, you prick. I'll end up hoofing it all the way to the VDNH at this rate. A unique train? What makes it so special? Does it fly through the air or something? Thanks to the revolutionary maglev transportation system developed by Chalamet engineers, Vortex high-speed train can reach incredible speeds with no inconvenience to the passengers. An inextricable part of the neural network, Vortex independently adjusts its speed and schedule based on the number of passengers on trains and in waiting areas. Following the launch of Collective 2.0. Enough, I get it. I'm almost out of time. Fine, whatever. I'm out of here. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Search every single body here? I suggest talking to the polymerized victims. Shit. Do I have to? There are no tickets! The window is closed! I need a train ticket. A ticket? What the hell are you talking about? There are crazy robots all over the place! Help! They're killing me! You already got killed, buddy. Shouting like that isn't gonna do shit. I've got to hide! Get away! You tip me off to the robots! You're hidden, okay? The bots will never find you. Now, 
Can you tell me where I can get a train ticket? I'm not opening the ticket window. The robots will see me. Ask someone else for a ticket. They don't have names on them. Kai, rescue, failure. Excuse me, comrade, but do you have a train ticket? Must go. Ram empty. Emergency. What? Failed everyone. People dying. Elimination was correct. Son. Asshole. Holy hell, I'm wasting my fucking time here. Robots. Not glad to be of service. Not glad. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you alive? Then run. You can make it. Leave the area. I can't. I'm the guy who's gonna clean up this mess. This is exactly what we thought when we sounded the alarm. And now we're hiding out instead of fixing the robots. Sorry, comrade, but there's no need for you to hide anymore. Are you trying to say they killed me? I knew it! Really? How? It's been several nights, but I'm still huddling in the same spot, and I can't remember what happened before the alarm went off. I'm guessing your ticket's expired then, huh? I have a monthly pass. Has it been a month yet? How long have I been lying here? Ah, it hasn't been a month. Mind if I borrow your pass, comrade? You don't need it anymore. And that fucking Rafik on the train is busting my balls. You saw a Rafik? Do not approach it under any circumstances. Graphics kill you if you try talking to them. They sure do. Talking to that metal moron is making me want to kill myself. So how about that pass? What about it? Have you got a pass or not? I have. Take it. It's, it's in my pocket. I can't reach it. I'll get it. Thanks, comrade. Do not approach graphics. They're dangerous. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you bloodsucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? It could speed up the departure of the train. 
Maybe because I didn't have it back then. Are you saying this isn't your ticket? Riding with someone else's ticket is unworthy of a Soviet citizen. What did you just say? Please do not worry. Having analyzed the situation, I came to the conclusion that you are a law enforcement officer investigating an emergency. It is obvious that you are allowed to travel free of charge under the current circumstances. <laughs> are, are you serious? Feel free to take any available seat. The train is departing in 10 seconds. Wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now departing. Next stop, Solnechnaya Station. Charles? Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is, unless Zaharov betrayed him like his other colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Time for a dirt nap, Stuck. Get your ass up and head to cover. Spill it. What did Station Off say? Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's now. like, okay, okay. Comrade Molotov is on his way. Head down. To the... Okay. Uh, Comrade Station Off wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, Comrade Station Off asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come. Uh, you're a soldier, Agent B3. Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> uh, slippery little bitch. I'll see you <laughs> soon. Just like Moscow. Better, actually. More few... Futuristic. And on a larger scale. My design. Your what? A linguistic error. I meant to say that it embodies my favorite design.
fox jumps over the lazy dog. His mind is completely gone. I can't keep going like that. Please, enough. Ugh, poor guy. Pain is the last thing he can remember. Tough luck. I can't work so much. I need at least one day off. This must be one of the developers working on Collective 2.0 software. They had a few difficult days before the neural network update. And brutal deadlines. Same old story. Well, you got all the time in the world now, buddy. Oh, forgive us. You're a fucked everything. He has expired. Charles, I keep thinking, what's up with their voices? As far as I can tell, the talking corpse's polymer memory is transmitting an audio stream through the interactive speech module installed in the thought device's voice assistant. So, in other words, they talk through the neurocontroller? So it would seem. When the thought controllers were initially distributed, only two voice profiles had been created, a male one and a female one. That's why their voices seem so similar. Needless to say, these people spoke quite ordinarily when they were alive. But they promised to significantly increase the range of voice profiles. Is that why you've got that weird, wheezy voice? It's rude to mock a man for something that is beyond his control, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. I was just messing with you. You've got a nice, sultry baritone. <laughs> a man. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. Access granted. Please select the desired pre- Will it be major? What?
major.
Astrologers announced a week of Atomic Heart. The number of enemies has doubled.
now have access to the scientific testing ground, Comrade Major. You can find valuable weapons in such locations in the future. Yeah, I know your science shit. All you do is deceive honest Thank citizens with the concept of a bright future. No comment. Outstanding. Let's go take a look at the gear that'll help me see tomorrow. The dreams and aspirations of Facility 3826's scientists know no bounds. The daring Soviet scholars want to know, how can I make a Soviet citizen's life in space as comfortable as possible? What conditions are key to making their stay outside of the Earth's atmosphere indistinguishable from what they're used to? Here, at Testing Ground 6, you can observe one such experiment. Will it be possible for future spacefaring generations to watch movies in zero gravity? The answer is, naturally, for the Soviet citizen, nothing is impossible.
What the hell is that? A special transporter for valuable cargo, or Comrade Lutjagen, according to the employee's facetious name for it. Valuable cargo is all well and good, but why is it stuck there like that? Its base features a prototype of a perpetual motion engine that forces the... Boring. Give me the short version. Once released, it moves quickly between certain set points. It's dead still. Looks like your perpetual motion engine is busted. <laughs>